Hey everyone, it's Jeff and Randy the Research Rat with PeptideCritic.com and today I wanted to answer a question that we get in our emails, we've gotten on our community forum, and we get in our text messages. Uh, it's usually a photo accompanied by some messages freaking out saying, oh no, my NAD looks bad, I think it's a bad batch, it doesn't, doesn't look normal, but NAD doesn't look like any normal lyophilized peptide. So what what I realized is I have a bottle from a couple of years ago in, or I have a lot of bottles from a couple of years ago in my freezer of some NAD. Uh, typically your NAD comes in a uh, amber glass uh, bottle and that's to protect it from UV. Uh, previously, vendors weren't uh, putting them in those and that, that's okay, but you really do want it in amber glass. Uh, this has been in a freezer for a long time, so I don't really think it matters, but if you were to leave this out in the sun, it would degrade the compound. So. That being said, I'm going to move Randy out of the way so we can get some good focus here. This is what your NAD actually looks like. So it's yellow, it's chunky, it's cracked, uh, you know, it's it looks weird. And on this, if you look through, let me pull the label, if you look through this, it's similar. You can barely see, but people will shine flashlights in there to check on it to make sure it's okay. And the reality is if the testing looks okay, it's okay. And you know, hopefully this eases someone's mind who's uh, reconstituting their peptides at one in the morning when they find this video. So if you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments and uh, join us at our community forum at uh, community.peptidecritic.com where we answer questions like this all the time. And uh, until next time, happy researching from Jeff and Randy the Research Rat with peptidecritic.com.